All right, got a shot of Denzel here, uh, done in a small studio in San Antonio, Texas. Uh, I'll go through a little quick edit. I don't know how quick it's going to be, actually. Uh, we've got a lot of the studio and the environment, and it's pretty cool like that. I could post it like that, and I may do that, do like a little before and after. Um, but I think I'm going to try to clean up uh, some of the stands and things out of here and expand the canvas over so we'll go through that now um, I've brought the done the like I said the preliminary editing in Photoshop it was pretty good straight out of camera actually um, I just brought the highlights up they may be a little bit hot especially up here I was trying to I didn't want it to be too too bright I had a light up here uh, coming down a flash and uh, then I had a soft key light over to the left and then this strip box over to the right uh, so I may uh, We'll start with uh, removing some of this stuff on the right side. I think that'll be the quickest, and then we'll go over here and do the left, and we'll see what's left. So I'm going to hit a Control minus to make my canvas just a little bit smaller, and you can do a Control J on the background if you want to um, when you're doing the cropping and things like that. And now I've already cropped it for four by, by five. It won't make a difference, but I'm just going to do this on the background because I've done this so many times uh, that I'm pretty comfortable with not screwing up too bad so bring this down to about well let's just bring it down and see what it does with this stand so what I'm gonna do I've got the rectangular marquee tool and I've just got this area selected I'm gonna right click and I'm just gonna choose fill and we'll wait for it we want to choose content aware fill up here and we hit OK and we'll wait for it to decide what it's gonna fill in end with it's going to make a best guess based on its what's around it and that did a really good job I mean I'm pretty happy with that other than just the line of the canvas down here and that's easily fixed with a clone stamp tool so we'll go over here and we'll do the same thing I'm gonna try it oh, let's see if I can get the bottom of that leg in down to there I may have overlapped on the Apple box a little bit. Let's just see. We're going to right click and choose fill. And we'll hit OK. And we'll see what that does. Just going to think about it. And pretty good job. Still got, you know, a little, some more artifacts down here. Uh, but I think we'll be able to manage that. Uh, so this area is not quite as clean as I'd like it. Um, but we did a, it did a really good job on the canvas and I mean we're quite a quite a long ways there already so let me grab the this is where I'm going to do a new layer this is where I start separating things out so I'll do a new blank layer by hitting the plus down here and I'm going to grab my clone stamp tool I've got a flow of 30 control plus to zoom in my canvas let me start with the easy we'll do the low hanging fruit and I'll do this side first. I'm going to hold down my Alter Option key, get a sample of that area right there. And you can see as I'm hovering, it's giving me a little preview of what it's going to put in there. So I'm just going to start clicking away with my mouse. If you're using a uh, pen and tablet, you can use that too, which I do have. Um, I'm just using the mouse. Oops, I went too far. Control Z will undo. That's pretty good. You got to watch out when you get too close, it'll start sampling the wrong spot so I'm gonna move my canvas all over I'm holding down the space bar and just dragging it with the hand so we'll come over here this is where it's gonna be a little a little more iffy over here so let's see what we get here you can see where it's using the plus sign over to the right that's where it's grabbing the sample from so you can kinda of keep track of that and it's gonna tell you sort of give you an indication. Now you see I'm getting another stand in here. Okay, so we've got a little bit here we've got to clean up. So I'm going to try to maybe grab some of this. It's giving me a little bit of noise over here. So we'll grab this right there. And let me just see if I can fill this in a little bit. Nope. Control Z. So 
I'm going to grab this area here. And I'm going to choose Edit Content Aware Fill. And I'm going to do Control Z. Let's cancel that because in order to do Content Aware Fill, I've got to be on a, I can't be on a blank layer. So we'll come back to this area. This area is still a little iffy. I may be able to you know, grab some of this down here. Kind of like that. I don't know where it's getting this from. It's a little bit annoying. Let's just bring this in here like this. There we go. That looks pretty good. I mean, not perfect, but I don't think anybody is going to notice that little... I'll get the one person that comments when I post it. They'll be like, what about that little spot over there in the corner? There's always the one. So you can see I still kind of have little remnants of this uh, stand. I can barely see it right there. So I'm going to kind of bring this over. Bring that over. There we go. Now got to deal with this piece right here uh, you know I could try the we do control shift option E to flatten my layer over here you'll see that I've got the full uh, layer with pixels in it instead of an empty layer so let me try the patch tool the patch tool requires that and I'm using my left hand here so and I'm just gonna bring that Right there that did pretty good got rid of the stand I just have a couple lines right here so I'm going to go back up to my clone stamp tool hold down option to get a sample and again the wood grain is not going to be perfect but like I said uh, I don't think that it's going to be all that noticeable when you zoom out so it's a little blurry in here compared to the other areas so let me get maybe a sample right there and that gives it a little bit more clarity and that's pretty good so I'll hit control zero to center the canvas and the only thing that maybe is bothering me a little bit is this dark spot here this one not so much so let me go in and fill this area in and I'm going to use the clone stamp tool again. And I'm just going to hold down option. I'm going to grab that spot right there. And I'm on about 30%. As far as my flow, I make this a little smaller. Let me just grab this spot right here. Cool. I like that a little better. So there, we got rid of the stands. We expanded the canvas. Like I said, you know, if you're going to be a pixel peeper, maybe you'd go in there and notice some of the wood grain, but um, I'm not too worried about it. And then if we wanted to get a little more fancy on this, um, I can do a select subject. And it usually does a pretty good job. Sometimes it doesn't get the apple box, but no, that's pretty good. And I can do select inverse. And then I can come over here and I can create a curves. And it automatically creates right here the mask. And so anything in white on this mask is what I'm going to affect now. Anything in black. A subject for example will not be impacted and on this curves later what I'm really looking at is the back background and I kind of just want to play around with the curves maybe brighten it maybe even darken it I think I want to darken it a little bit more and then we come down here now I can just kind of play around with that curves and there so now he pops a little bit off that background a little bit more because I've made it darker. Now as you can see right here, first thing I notice is right there the selection wasn't perfect. 
and that's what you'll need to go in and look at looks pretty good around most of him when you darken something you got to be careful you don't end up with like an outline around your subject because that happens a lot so I'll select my layer and I want to I can notice right here that it didn't darken right there so I'm going to paint and we'll do a flow of like 30 percent and I'm just painting on the mask right there let me get my uh, pen I was trying to use the mouse and it just wasn't working real well so come right in here paint and you can see where it overlapped right here so I'm going to switch my color to black black removes white reveals on a mask see see how I'm doing that just kind of getting the details a little bit that were missed um, let me look around and make sure there's not any other spots around him. If you zoomed in, you could see a little bit of an outline right there. Um, it's not bothering me, though. Look around the other boot here. It looks pretty good. Sometimes you got to look around the chair or the apple box. I'm pleased. All right. So that's pretty good. That's how you do it. So we started off uh, in Lightroom with that. And we ended up with that. So that is how it's done. I appreciate you watching. Thanks for hanging in there. Hopefully this wasn't too long. And I hope you learned something. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.